What's going on guys? I figure I would make good on my promise of videos. Um, first one I'm going to do is my Roper Rally Rototiller that I got out of a lady's shed that was sitting there for 12 years with gas in it. So I will show you what I did. Now this is going to be a talkie talkie video so if you don't like those I'm sorry. This is how it goes. Um, I've already done the work on it so I'm not pulling it apart again. Sorry, uh, sounds lazy, but really I don't give a shit because I'm not doing it again. But anyway, um, when I got it, it had a blue spark, which is great, but it was not getting fuel. It was getting, well, obviously it was getting air, but it wasn't getting fuel. Now, what had happened in that 12 years, um, the gas had gelled up, ate away the sponge that material that was in here and caused a big mess in there. It looked like somebody dumped a handful of topsoil in there. Now, saying that, um, I did clean it out and I'll show you it now. Uh, before it looked really bad and it still looks pretty bad. So, now see that looks really bad. But before, it looked like it had like an inch of dirt in it, and it, it was that sponge material that looked like it gelled up. But the first thing I did was I took all this off, took the carburetor off, which when you do that, be sure to save the gasket. And if you can't save the gasket, by all means, go get some gasket material because you're going to need to cut a new gasket. Um, anyway, there's three bolts. There's one up here, which is missing, one down here, and the one underneath in this area. You take those off, take the linkages off, and you're good. Now when you take the carburetor off, like I said, get you some gasket material and cut a new gasket because you are probably, or more than likely, going to rip up the old gasket. So when you do that, try to be careful. And If you rip it, you're going to have to cut a new one, which isn't that hard. It's just like three holes in the screw bolts, the screw holes. So, the way I did this, I dumped out all the residual nastiness that was in there, put a cup of gas in it, and grabbed a handful of pea gravel. Now, a lot of people are going to give me flack about this, because you're not supposed to do that, oh my god. It works, trust me. The thing runs, I'll show you a video proving it runs on another uh, deal here later on. But this thing does run, no problem. I put, it starts on one pull. So I threw a handful of pea gravel in it with a cup of gas, shook the shit out of it. And I had to do that like four times. So you can see the result. Now before it looked like it had about that much dirt all over the bottom of it. Now you can actually see metal on the bottom of the tank when I showed you inside. So. After you get done with the pea gravel thing, dump another cup of gas in it. After you get all the gravel out, dump another cup of gas in it, slosh it around real good, dump it out. Do it like five times. Granted, you're going to waste like a gallon and a half, almost three, anywhere from a gallon and a half to three gallons of gas doing this. So, you know, this is the way I did it and this way it works. So, obviously, um, it's not the best way, but it works. When I got it, the choke did not work. Obviously it does now. And the pull cord did not retract. It does now. So, anyway guys, sorry for keeping this video so short. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave a comment or PM me. I will do my best to answer your questions. So, anyway, after saying that guys, have a good one. Be safe and uh, good luck with your project.